Graduating students, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, friends and family, I am here to talk about tradition, specifically the tradition that we are becoming a part of by graduating from the Harvard Graduate School of Education, or as we know it, Hugsy. <laughs> the tradition I speak is one of struggle and resistance, struggle against the vicious legacy of white supremacy, resistance against homophobia, struggle against gender discrimination, resistance against massive class inequality and other forms of dehumanization, all in a larger effort to increase educational quality and access for everyone. We believe that education is essential to participate fully in American life and as global citizens. We believe that regardless of what the US Supreme Court holds, that education is a fundamental right. We believe that we are fighting against a long history of educational inequality and exclusion. And public opinion is not always on our side. But regardless of the difficulties we face, we choose to fight. We refuse to give up. This is the Hugsy tradition that I speak. And T.S. Eliot reminds us that tradition is not something you inherit. If you want it, you must obtain it through great labor. So why do we fight so hard? In the face of seemingly insurmountable problems, why have we convinced ourselves that we must go on? Why do we feel that we must do something in our work, in our day-to-day -day lives, to make society a better place? I think I have an idea why. Let me tell you the answer by sharing a story from my life. Before I started the doctoral program at Hugsy, I was an assistant director of admissions at Harvard Law School. As part of my job, I would go on the road and talk to students all over the country about going to Harvard. I encountered four types of people who wanted to attend this grand institution. First, I would meet people who wanted to attend Harvard because they wanted to become rich. And they told me they weren't talking spiritually rich. <laughs> they said they were talking racks on racks rich. <laughs> this was a common sentiment. But for me, this is not the best motivation to attend Harvard. Second, I met people who wanted to attend Harvard because they wanted to become powerful. They wanted to influence society in profound ways. And that, in and of itself, was the justification for applying to a place like Harvard. Again, I didn't find this the most compelling reason to attend. Third, I met people who wanted to obtain prestige. They would say that with a Harvard degree, they would be branded geniuses wherever they go in the world without even trying anymore. <laughs> and this would be the justification for all the hard work they've done up to this point. Another common sentiment, but for me, not the best reason to attend. Fourth, I would meet people who wanted to attend Harvard for the most compelling reason of all. Love. Right? Let me tell you what I mean. After I engaged in some conversation with these folks in the fourth category, they would all say that they had people in their lives who believed in them when they were feeling worthless. It was a parent, teacher, relative, family friend, spiritual or religious advisor, someone who took them by the hand and made them feel like they were somebody. And now that they have this foundation of love and support, they want to pay it forward by attending Harvard and developing the necessary skills to combat injustice in the world. Now that's love. How does this answer the original question about we, uh, about why we as Hugsy students and alumni fight so hard? When I speak to Hugsy students, I'm talking to people with motivation number four. You come here recognizing that you stand on the shoulders of people who helped you get where you are. You recognize that you could never pay them back, but you could pay it forward to the next kid who comes along needing some help. You are here because you want to make a difference in the world by helping as many people as possible have access to high quality, dare I say it, transformational educational opportunities. You are here because you are deeply committed to social justice. So why do we fight so hard? Cornell West reminds us that justice is what love 
looks like in public. That is why we fight. That is why we struggle. That is why we care. Justice is what love looks like in public. Welcome to the tradition. <laughs>